Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to Core Keeper. In this video, we're going to show you how to automate a wood farm. Now, robots are taking over, right? So we're finally into the automation, 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 automation of the game now to where we can start using the uh, resources available to craft better resources that will in turn provide us infinite amounts of resources. And in this case, in this video, wood. So a few things we're going to need is the one is going to be an iron workbench you'll need the iron workbench to craft a scarlet workbench and more importantly the electronics table once we get the scarlet workbench we're also going to need to craft the automation table so those are pretty simple to get you're going to need a lot of iron and a lot of uh scarlet ore for these so one of the things we can craft with the automation table is the drill so the drill is going to be 10 iron bar 10 scarlet bar and then the robot arms, five iron bar, five scarlet bar. So you can see we've got a couple here. I've already used a bunch, so we're going to get down and show you guys uh, the setup that I have for this. And then down here we have the electronics table. Now what we're going to need here is the electricity generator. This is going to power all of our drills and all of our robot arms. And uh, that's going to give us our automated wood farm. So of course what we're going to need is the root seeds. So we have a bunch of root seeds here. We're also going to need a hoe to till the ground to plant the seeds. Then of course we're going to need our watering can to water the seeds, right? That's how they grow. We've got our drills, our robot arms, our electricity generators. You need a bunch of chests and you're going to need this one of these little plants from the wilderness. Trust me, this is a key item right here that you're going to need. A pickaxe and a shovel if you want. Anyways, that's what we're going to need. So get a ton of scarlet ore, a ton of iron ore. And we're going to head down here and show you our automated wood farm and see how well it's doing. See if the robots have taken over our base yet, which hopefully not. Because I don't know what we uh, can use against robots. Anyways, this is what we've got down here. So you can see already it's going to town. It looks uh, pretty crazy. It looks like it's a lot of work. It's actually really not. It's very simple to do. The major thing you're going to want to do is when you plant these root seeds is uh, have them blocked off on all sides except for one. The side that's facing the drill. You're going to want that so basically when the roots, you plant them, you water them and everything, they start growing. They're going to grow out facing the drill. And what that's going to do is the drill is just going to take it out right there, as you can see. The robot arm is going to pick it up, <clears throat> excuse me, and place it in the chest for us. Super simple. So all we have to do is uh, whenever we're in town over here, come over here, pick up our wood. Go from each one. Oh, and we got some more root seeds too. We'll snag those. Go down. Just go down the line. And now we're going to have unlimited wood without having to do anything. Now, granted, you can get wood out in the wilderness, but it's a pain in the butt. You have to go out there and harvest it. And maybe you don't have inventory space. Or you can do it yourself, which is actually going to give you gardening points for your skill points. But you can also do that with gardening. Now, people have done automated garden farms, but the issue with that is it only harvests them once, right? The robots will not plant the seeds and water them for us. So we, if we're doing it for gardening, you're going to have to plant the seeds. You're going to have to water it. And then you have a drill there just to harvest it one time. Really not a benefit. Plus, you're not if you do all that, you're not getting the skill points for gardening. So the only real uh, use for it is wood because wood is essential to a lot of the recipes. I'm not going to go over them all, but you can look at your... Uh, all your crafting tables and see how important wood is in a lot of things especially if you're carrying it around and you need a pickaxe or a shovel or a workbench or some torches to carry carry some wood on you craft that at your leisure so basically what we did we have 13 on this side with 13 drills and 13 robot arms and we have two generators <coughs> excuse me i'm dying two generators on top here and then two on this side as well now we have two because we have 13 going across so the generators are only going to power about 10 tiles out once you start getting past that you'll start seeing the light uh get a little weaker dimmer which means that they're not transferring as much power to those ones that are farther away now if it's right up next to it like these ones we have here those are getting maximum power so we have two on top on that side two on top on this side and we'll show you down here, we got two on the bottom there and two on the bottom on this side. So basically, we're getting a ton of power going through the drills and the robot arms. So we know that they're operating at maximum capacity. Efficiency, whatever you want to call it. We've got our uh, little decorative things here. And like I said, the plant is going to be super important right here. Because I wanted to have a place where I could come in and just gather all across. This plant right here, just by putting this little plant, I can walk through it, obviously. But the roots will not grow across that. Now you could put a door or something like that, but then I have to open it. So we have the door here. Just put a plant there and those roots are blocked off from the sides. Just something little and easy and uh, effective. So you can see all the roots blocked off all on one side, except for the ones facing the drill. We have all the power. We have all of our chests here, which are constantly gathering wood. So anytime I'm over here in this base by the core, I can come over here and stock up on wood. And then I also actually have one over at my other base that's a little bit smaller than this. But I wanted to demonstrate the capability of just having one of these automated wood farms and how useful it could be. 
it is only one resource but like i said wood is a really valuable resource early on middle game and later in the game even in this game just being early access so that's all we got for this video guys let me know what you think in the comments below make sure you like comment and subscribe if you haven't already we'd love to have you join the community link in the description to join the discord we'll talk about all things core keeper going forward and with that being said take care of yourselves take care of each other and as always stay original my friends we'll see you in the next one later